Welcome to Dirt 5, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're gonna get out, get dirty, and play with some really powerful four-wheel vehicles. This is the newest installment into the very popular Dirt series, and I gotta say I'm excited to be checking it out today with you guys. We're gonna be doing a quick overview on a bunch of the different game modes, the new ones, the old ones, from Gymkhana all the way up to Rallycross. Now I do want to thank Codemasters for sponsoring this episode and directly supporting the channel. Dirt 5 releases on Xbox, PS4, Steam, Stadia, and Xbox Series X on November the 6th. And we'll also be releasing on PlayStation 5 on November the 12th. You can pre-purchase the game and find out more information about the game at the link at the top of this video's description. Now let's get out there and get dirty. All right, let's start off with the career mode. Now, I really like the career mode in the rally games because you can pick and choose the races that you want to do and it goes through all the different types of races that you can do. You can see I started with Ultra Cross, I went to Rally Raid, then I had a Stampede, and now I can choose either Rally Raid or Land Rush. Now the goal is to get to the end and then and you go to the throwdowns. Throwdowns are essentially battles and you go throughout those and make your way to the end of the game. Now, we're not gonna get anywhere near there today, but I do wanna check out some of the races. Let's try the Land Rush, uh, because we get to use this vehicle and it looks really, really fun. And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to beautiful Greece. Okay, Land Rush time. Now, I've never done this before, so hopefully it goes well. Regardless, I'll, I'll have fun, that's for damn sure. And, uh, ooh, okay. <laughs> the turning is really aggressive in these. I, I didn't mean to turn that hard. If you've never played a, a dirt game before, they're pretty over the top and very, very fun. So I'm already in first place. Well, I was in first place, now we're back in third, but hey, let's just take our time here and enjoy the scenery. Oh, I'm gonna land on you, buddy, watch out. There we go, and oh my god, these things are fast. All right, I got it in first person now, and uh, yeah, I'm ahead of the pack for right now. Okay, that plane almost hit me, Jesus. Oh, never mind, I'm not ahead of the pack anymore. I shouldn't get too confident. This is my first time in this vehicle, so I gotta get used to it as I race here. Ah, oh, there we go, I took the corner wide. That worked out for me, actually. Usually it doesn't. All right, they're catching up now a little bit, but we're on the final lap. I believe this is the final stretch right here. Got the beast a little bit muddy, but uh, yeah, overall that was actually pretty easy. All right, and look at us in first place. So what did we get for that? Well, some XP as per usual, level six now. Some reputation. And of course we need those dirty dollars. There we go, so I've been collecting my money to um, do this episode, so we'll probably buy a couple vehicles today. Uh, but yeah, let's up that difficulty a little bit. Okay, so yeah, I had it on medium. There's hard. I guess there's very hard as well. Let's just start off with hard and see how that is. Everything else I think is pretty good. Um, the cars feel well good. It's just my my competition was a little too easy. Now, I think we unlocked, yes, an Ultra Cross. I'm down for that. Uh, I do have a basic vehicle for this, but let's spend some of my money right now. All right, so I bought the Ford Fiesta just because it's got the most power. Now, you can create your own uh, paint jobs here, if you will. I'm just going to go. I actually like the dark one, just the black, so we're going to keep it with that. All right, now we're doing some Ultra Cross in Norway. Now, it looks a little snowy out, so this should be fun. I've never actually driven in snow in this version of dirt, at least, so we'll see how we can do. All right, in the middle of the pack, where I like to be, at least for the start, just to kind of learn this course. I mean, I've obviously never been on it before. And I'm just gonna take my time, try not to be too aggressive, but hey, Rubin's racing, so if you're not hitting people, you're not rallying right. Yeah, this is much better though. I'm actually having a little bit of a challenge, and uh, ooh, 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 e-break it. Oh, that would've been great if I didn't totally screw up. All right, little bit of damage, tis but a scratch. All right, this is how I like it though. I want a little bit of a challenge. I want some um, pressure, because I do well under pressure, at least in racing games. All right, first lap's done in last place. There we go, taking that turn a little aggressive. There's two behind me. Uh, I, got, I, got, I gotta go hard on the turns. I'm not gonna be able to get them on the straights. I'm actually slower than the majority of them. So really my only chance is to hit these turns aggressive, use that e-brake just like that, and hope I don't kill myself and spin myself out again. Seems like the weather's getting worse. My uh, my vision's not as good. There we go, past another one. We're seventh now. So one lap, we took down half the pack. Oh, oh, this is gonna be great. Keep it straight, keep it straight. There we go, cut in. Yes! 
exactly what I wanted to do. And now I just need to pass the final few. And I'll be able to do it right here if I e-break. No, that's the corner I screwed up on. I got scared. That's <laughs> the same corner I screwed up on, I think. All right, here we go. Oh, man, I might have took that a little too fast. Nope, my brakes are pretty good in this thing. Now I just need to keep them behind me for this lap. All right, there we go. The snow is getting pretty bad out. I don't know if it was this bad at the start. I wasn't really paying attention, but this is deep snow, man. It's actually really fun to race in because you got no grip at all, as you can see. There we go. That was a good e-brake churn. Sliding through that snow. I think we're nearing the end now. Yep, this is the final turn. I held him off. At least let's not get too cocky until we pass that ending. Yeah, fireworks and everything. Oh, now that was a good race. That was really, really fun. All right, and moving up into the career a little bit, I wanted to try the sprint racing out just because I had a sprint track near my house as a kid, so it's near and dear to my heart, and it's something a little bit different in this game. If you've never seen it before, basically it's an oval dirt track of doom. Oh my god, I just did a wheelie. Jesus Christ. All right, let's take our time here. I haven't driven one of these before. Oh my god, I'm sliding all the way around that turn. Oh god, okay, you know what? These guys are all hitting the walls like crazies. I'm just gonna take my time in the back. Patience is key. Look at these guys. Oh, this is crazy though. So yeah, you might be wondering why they look so funny. This is all to keep them on the ground. They need these aerodynamics or they'll basically fly away. So super fast, super light, super horrifying fun. And this is, <laughs> this is just crazy. <laughs> I might be able to keep it straight if I didn't get hit on every corner. Okay, I don't even know what, what place I'm in. I'm just so focused on not spinning this thing sideways. I am not doing well. Well, it's not going well, but at least I've tamed the beast a little bit. Can I pass this guy? Come on, there we go. God, these things are just so hard to control. What did I get, eight? <laughs> okay, clearly I'm not a sprint racer, but that was fun. We gotta try some Pathfinder. Now this is the most hardcore of terrains in Dirt 5, and yeah, we're basically in a rock bouncer, which is going to be fantastic. Uh, this is my first run. Obviously, we're doing this alone, and we just gotta get from point A to point B without killing ourselves, so that should be fun. So I'm curious to see how crazy this terrain gets. Obviously, already, we're pretty crazy. Oh my god, I'm flying, I'm flying, I'm flying. Okay, stay. Looks like we got choices. That's always fun. Okay, I, I need to slow down. I <laughs> I'm treating this like a rally course. All right, halfway there. I'm making pretty good time, I think. And uh, yeah, I really like this just because you're racing yourself. You don't even know what place you're gonna be. I mean, I guess it kind of tells you I need to get at least to the end by three minutes 35. It's looking like we're gonna be doing that just fine as long as we don't royally screw up. But I like the amount of choice you do with this one. You don't have any specific area to go to. You kind of choose which way you want to go and hope it's the correct way. So far, it seems like I'm doing at least okay. Okay, this view is really difficult. It's always nice to have first person though. All right, we're 80%. We're at the top of the mountain, aren't we? No, it just keeps going. Oh, oh God. All right, is that it? Did I do it? I did it. And I got all three stamps as well. Okay, and we gotta try one more type of race. Well, it's not really a race, it's an event. Jim Gymkhana is in this game as well. Now, if you don't know what Jim Gymkhana is, basically it's if you took skateboarding and added, oh God, a car to it. So you're scored based on drifting, on doing crazy stunts like this. I am not doing this very well, but you get the idea. You drift, you have fun, you hit things. I'm supposed to drift and hit these, aren't I? Oh God, I am, I am royally. This is gonna be embarrassing. Oh my god. Ah, that's what I need a donut area I feel like I can at least do that, right? Maybe not 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 really There we go That's it. Okay. Oh I'm dizzy. I'm dizzy. I'm so dizzy. Hey a jump. That's something I can definitely do There we go almost killed myself. All right. Come on. Just get one here. Yes. Yes. Not awful. Damn it. That was awful. Okay. Well, I tried my best guys. I, I don't think I did very well. <laughs> Look at my car. Okay, I got one sticker, guys. I don't mean to brag or anything, but uh, yeah, Jim Gymkhana is not my calling. All right, I think it's time to move on from the career after that embarrassment. So yeah, you get the idea, though. Basically, 
any type of race you can think of all in one. It's great fun and really, really fun to do. Now, online, I can't unfortunately do right now because the game's not out. But yeah, you race with your friends. Surprise, surprise. Then you have the arcade mode where you can customize races. You can even customize weather. And yeah, you can totally customize it however you want, whether it be heavy rain or whatnot. You can have your grid size, your type of uh, race car, and of course, location as well. So that's always fun. But what I'm most excited about is the playgrounds mode. Now, this is where you can create your own tracks and share them with the community. So yeah, you essentially have this open arena where you can put down different types of objects and create whatever your mind gives you. And there is actually a lot of selection in this, so you can get really crafty with it. I am definitely not crafty, uh, but you get the idea. If you can think of it, you can probably design it, and um, yeah, you can share it with your friends, which is what I want to focus on, is the sharing aspect. Because I'm not that creative, so we have a discover tab here where you can do some of the most popular ones. Yeah, you know what? Let's just start with that. So yeah, obviously not many people are playing right now, but you can compete against the global community to see how good you are on every track. Um, so yeah, let's try Gatecrasher out. Okay, I gotta be honest, I don't know what Gatecrasher is, so I'm assuming we have to crash some gates. Never played this before, so this could get interesting. Look at this track, though. <laughs> and the community isn't even out yet, so these are just tracks made by a few people who have been given access. Oh my god. So yeah, if the game wasn't crazy enough yet, these tracks will definitely make it a little bit more crazy. Oh my god, I'm getting dizzy. Please end this. Okay, thank you. All right, where are you taking me? I actually, this is a really well-designed track. I mean, obviously, it's the most popular one right now, so it should be quite good. All right, hit those brakes. I don't want to crash into the wall. Yes, I'm feeling pretty good. Never mind, I'm not. But yeah, just think of the amount of things you can design with this, whether it be a crazy course, a realistic course. I mean, the possibilities are endless, and I think this is where this game's community is truly going to shine, is sharing these tracks and racing against each other. All right, but there we go. We finished. How'd we do? Last place. I, 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 I cannot have that. I cannot have that. Come on, baby! Did I, did I win? Oh! Take that! All right, let's just take a minute to appreciate that I am rank one on the most popular map in Dirt 5. The game might not be out yet, but let me appreciate this, damn it. I mean, I even beat the Dirt 5 team, so that feels pretty good. You ever want to race on a course that's built by buses? Well, now you can. Not sure why you'd want to, but it is, it's, it's here. <laughs> All right, now we're on another one of the most popular ones. This is called X Games 2020, and uh, yeah, haven't tried it yet. My God, this is massive. I'm supposed to do this in three minutes? Okay. Oh, that's a smart way to slow down a car, because you know people aren't gonna hit the brakes. Brakes are no fun, gas is fun. All right, I got three minutes of this. My car is gonna be destroyed by the end of this. Oh God. Okay, there we go, jump. Break and turn and hit the wall. All right, this course is too damn technical for me. This is <laughs> this is easily the hardest one yet. Oh, he braked way too late. Jesus. Oh god, it's dark. It's dark. This is so cool. I love the underground parts. Ooh, and a ring of fire. There we go. Oh, what a well-designed course. I'm just enjoying the course. Clearly, I'm not going to get a good time. Oh, another jump. There we go. Right over. Not the best of landings, but I'll take it. I wonder what this is. Oh, oh, no, oh, oh, okay. That's how you don't do that. It even told me, like, to reset to track. Hey, are you that bad? I like that, though. Shortcuts are even on this. Whoa, 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 okay. I almost, almost climbed the whole friggin' wall. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> I need wider tracks. This is too technical. Well, I didn't do as bad as I thought, honestly. Three, what was it, 318? Right in the middle of the pack. All right, I guess I was being a little too hard on myself. A bunch of checkpoints happen really fast right at the end. All right, and I wanted to end off with one more race. We're using free runners, and uh, yeah, the only reason I wanted to do this was to drive this thing. Look at it, it's the Audi AI Trail Quattro, and it looks absolutely fantastic, so yeah. Let's get out there and see how we can do. Okay, this thing, I mean, look at the view. You even got like a lower panel. Let's go into obviously first person here. Like you can see right below this thing. Look at this cockpit. I should probably focus on the race, but the future is here, ladies and gentlemen. There's like a phone in front of me. Is that an actual phone? I think it is. And then obviously it's electric as well. I can hear all these other engines and then hear my little electric powered vehicle here. <laughs> God, it feels like I'm in like a moon 
rover or something. All right, well, let's see how we can do with it. This thing is absolutely hilarious, and I love everything about it. Ah, looks like we got another one in the field as well. He's doing a little bit better than me. I will say it's not the fastest of vehicles. At least it doesn't feel that fast. I don't know, though. It could be. Uh, anyways, let's take this tight. See if we can get that first place. These guys are all going extremely wide. All right, here we go. Neck and neck for first place. We're three wide. Again, I'm going to go tight. And we got it for the time being. All right, weather's getting pretty bad. Oh, wow. Okay, these guys clearly a lot faster than me on the straights. Let's see if we can get them on the corners again. Ooh, that was aggressive, but hey, sometimes you gotta be. And there we go. We got first again. Let's keep first this time. All right, final lap. I'm holding first, but just we got a guy to the left of me. It's kind of making me nervous because he's staying like right beside me. Oh, is he gonna pass me? No, you're not gonna pass me. I'm gonna cut you off. Oh, man. This is a good race. All right, getting a little bit of distance now, which is good because this guy has been... Oh, that just screwed me up. I hit the brakes hard there. I might be regretting that. He's going to come to the right. Well, still, I'm ahead. But all that momentum I had of getting ahead has been ruined now. He's just behind me. Uh, is this the ending right here? Please be the ending. I want to end off with a win. Oh, no. We still got a ways to go. Okay, that was a great turn. That's going to get me ahead a little bit. And there we go. There's the ending. And I did it. I ended off with a win in the weirdest vehicle ever. <laughs> All right, and I just wanted to end off showing you the sheer amount of vehicles in this game because I feel like a lot of people still consider Dirt just a rally series. It is so much more than that now. And uh, yeah, it really does have a vehicle for every type of player out there, um, depending on what you like. And uh, yeah. I gotta say, from the little I've played of Dirt 5 so far, I'm having a blast playing it, and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Dirt 5. Now, let me know what you guys think of it, uh, and if you guys end up picking this up, be sure to share your playground levels with me, because I think it'd be cool to come back and play a bunch of levels that you guys create. But yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of Dirt 5, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and once again, I want to thank Codemasters for sponsoring this video. And, uh, yeah, if you guys want to know anything more about Dirt 5, I'll have a link at the top of the video description. And, yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.